All right, we are live. What's going on? I have a video that I need to release, but I didn't make a thumbnail for it yet, which I should have made it before I got on live. But then I figured, you know what? Let me just jump on live for a bit because next week is going to be tough as hell. There's so much to do, but I don't feel like doing nothing tonight because I'm so tired. I'm so damn tired. I figured I'd do a stream instead, but I should have released the video, but I wanted to do a stream, but then I wanted to release the video, but then I don't know. So I don't know what I do. I might, I may release a video after I may release a video after this stream, but it might be like a few minutes after the stream. I got to make a thumbnail for it. And, uh, that's been uploaded for basically two days now at this point, I recorded it two nights ago, but yeah, I don't know. I'll have to work on that soon enough. And, uh, yeah. So what's going on boys? I went out earlier and I played disc golf in what felt like a hurricane for about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes it felt like a hurricane. I played for hours on that. I played for about four hours. But uh, there was one point it was hailing. It was storming its ass off. It was windy as fuck. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I had a good time. I had a good time. But I'm tired as hell now because I didn't take a nap. And, uh, yeah, I was out in the storms, but then it got a little bit nicer, like maybe 20, it was, it was bad for really bad for 20 minutes. It was on and off for like the hour before that, but then it was really bad. I said, fuck it. I'm playing no matter what I have plans to play. I'm playing. It was like 30 mile an hour winds pouring down rain. I'd never been so cold in my entire life. And then like 20 minutes later, it was nice as could be. So I'm glad I stuck it out. Dude, I'm always on time because I'm making my own time. What's up, Zach? What's up, Andrew? What's up, Z Fight Life? I'm really been out of loop. Are people really defending Wyman? Yeah, there, there's people defending Wyman. Dude's a total piece of shit. A total fucking scumbag. And and there's people saying, well, he doesn't have a history of it. I mean, imagine your boy. Imagine your friend fucking robs you blind and then blames you for it. And then his family member defends him or your other boy defends him and says he doesn't have a history of it. I don't give a fuck if he has a history of it. He does now. You know what I mean? Imagine saying that shit doesn't have a history of it. I mean, that's the worst defense I've ever heard in my entire life. Maybe I'm just a person who doesn't forgive. I don't, I don't forgive very easily. You know, I don't forgive easily, and I, I'm a person with very high moral standards, okay? If you fuck me over, we are done. We are fucking done. One, a dude who I was friends with for years, but then I didn't talk to him for a while, for no other reason than we just drifted apart, hit me up. I told this story when I first started my channel. He hit me up and was like, hey, man, how you been doing, blah, blah, blah. You think I can borrow 20 bucks? I, I need to go get something to eat. And I don't have my, I lost my wallet and blah, blah, blah. And I can pay you back tomorrow and blah, blah, blah. And I hadn't heard from this motherfucker in months. And I said, you know what? Let me give this motherfucker 20 bucks. Let me feel good about giving him 20 bucks. And I said, if this motherfucker doesn't pay me back, I will never, ever speak to this motherfucker again. Sounds crazy. It's 20 bucks. I don't give a fuck about 20 bucks. I gave them, I went to his house, special delivery as a friend. And say, here, bro, here's 20 bucks. Go get yourself something to eat. And uh, he's all, all right, dude, I, I, I got you later. I got you tomorrow, whatever it was. I never heard from that motherfucker. I actually heard from him once. I'm wrong. I did not hear that from that motherfucker for years. Because I didn't hear from him the next day. And then I hear from him the next day. And then I started telling every motherfucker. I'm like, look, dude, dude this motherfucker ripped me off for 20 bucks. This motherfucker ripped me off for 20 bucks. Ain't said a word. So then I guess he was kind of like pissed that I was telling people he ripped me off for 20 bucks. And then like years later, this motherfucker messaged me. I probably still got the messages. I can pull up the messages and was like, Hey man, it was really fucked up. I was, I was in a tough time in my life and blah, 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 blah. And I said, my exact words were, if you really feel bad about it, why don't you give me my 20 bucks then? <laughs> And he said, all right, man, I got you, blah, blah, blah. I never got that shit. And then I just messaged him like once a year for like the next three years. It's like, where are my 20 bucks at? So the point is, what I'm getting to with that story 
is for me, I'm a person of very high moral standards, okay? If a motherfucker penetrated me six times illegally, Chris Weidman penetrated Bruno Silva six times illegally. Penetrated Bruno Silva six times illegally. And then this motherfucker had the audacity to say, I didn't mean to penetrate him. I wasn't trying to penetrate him. And I, I think, I think, I think he was just looking for a way out. I think he wanted out because he was losing the fight. You penetrated him six times illegally. Against the against his will, you penetrated him, Chris Weidman. You deeply penetrated Bruno Silva to win a fight. You penetrated him twice at the same time to win a fight. So, I, I can't respect that shit. I can't respect that shit. And then they not come out and say, look, I fucked up. Let me own it. I fucked up. It's my bad. He says, he said, this, this motherfucker wanted that. You can't fall to the ground. Someone gouge that motherfucker's eyes out. I really, I, I'm, I'm being dead serious. I'm not kidding around. You guys know me. At least the people who watch regularly know me. I'm not playing a character. I'm not acting a certain way for views. I'm not acting a certain way for entertainment value. This is how I genuinely feel. I'm not fucking around. Fuck that motherfucker. I swear on my life. If I saw Chris Weidman right now, it would take every ounce of my being not to gouge both of his fucking eyes out. It would take every ounce of my being. Because the shit's just fucking shitty, man. It's just, it's classless. It's scumbag. It, it, you know, it, it's, it just pisses me off. What a piece of shit. What a royal piece of shit. Imagine illegally penetrating someone six times over and then blaming them for it. Fuck that motherfucker. I'm dead serious, too. I'm not kidding around. I'm not... Oh, Joey's just being salacious. Oh, you know, he, he wants to be against... You know, whatever, whatever the fuck someone might say. Fuck that shit. Fuck Chris Wyman. He's a pussy-ass bitch is what he is. He deserves to never fight again in the UFC. And I wish him nothing but brutal KO loss after brutal KO loss. And I hope one or two of them comes after a double fucking eye poke. So... I just can't respect that, man. Illegally penetrating another man knuckle deep six times over. And then... And then blaming them for it. Chris Weidman's the type to get caught on camera sexually assaulting a, wo assaulting a woman. And he'd be like, did you see what she was wearing? That's what he'd be saying. Fuck him. Fuck Chris Weidman. I wish my channel was big enough that he would see this shit. Because he can go fuck himself. Like, 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 I will never stop. Like, if he comes out and says more shit, we must, I said it in my most recent video, we cannot let this die. We cannot let this slide. People act like scumbags. They need to be held accountable for the shit. So, sup, Joseph? Wyman's in the right. What the hell? Brian or Silva? I thought you were serious for a second. I was so close to clicking timeout for 30 minutes. What the hell was Silva thinking having his eyes open during a fight? Exactly. So many scumbags in the sport. I robbed my homeboy, but it's okay because I don't have a history of robbing people. Exactly. Exactly. It's principle. That's one of the craziest sentences I've ever heard. I've seen Weasel said for some reason. Seen what? What did he say? If a motherfucker penetrated me six times illegally. I mean, is it not true? Did anyone have Bruno Silva win in the second round? I don't think so. So, I don't think so. Weidman is a clown. I came into Joey screaming. I fucked up. He almost got dropped in round two, Zach. Weidman would clip you with his grandpa punches. I don't think Weidman would. I, I would take Weidman on the feet, pause. Because I would gouge his eyes out fucking immediately. I was thinking about UFC 205, in my opinion, matches UFC 300 in terms of how stacked it is. For me, UFC 205 had more exciting Aurora. I know what 205 was. It was, it was Conor McGregor versus Eddie Alvarez co-main event was Tyron Woodley versus Wonderboy Thompson featured fight. I cannot remember what it was. Maybe Yo versus Weidman. You're a bum if you co-sign Weidman. That's facts. Jalen Turner versus Chris Weidman. Let's go. Weidman versus Despain is the only fight to make. 
Now, Weidman versus Edward Scissorhand is the only fight to make. It really is. It really is. I, I hope you're not serious, Landon. Because if you are, you're a pussy. What's good, Joe? I feel like Turner could be top be top three lightweight, but I don't know if he has cardio and a chin. I don't know how his defensive grappling would hold up. I don't know. Joey really used a Colby nickname. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I just wonder about uh, Jalen Turner's defensive grappling. Wyvin well, versus a pack of rabbit coyotes is the real fight to make. Edward Scissorhands. That's a movie. That's a movie. It's not a Colby nickname. It's a fucking movie. Bruno Silva got eye poked, but he also looked ter horrible the entire fight. Okay. What the fuck does those two things have nothing to do with each other? Chris Wyvin ragdolls Alex Pereira. That's all I know. Doubtful. Don't even say that. All right, look, look. If if you're serious, think about it in a ten minute timeout, bro. I, like I, I can't even respect that. You're okay with one man illegally penetrating another man six times over. I just can't respect that. And you're blaming the man that got penetrated. Also, the fact that Bruno Silva couldn't charge in because literally could not charge in. Could not fucking charge in because he was too scared about getting eye poked. What a disgrace it was. Complete disgrace that 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 Wyman thinks he had the audacity. Had the audacity to fight with his eyes open. So Yeah, but Bruno Silva was gonna lose. You don't care. Wyman versus Gregory Rodriguez is actually what I want. Did you see Guru's making a fifth? minute video on Wyman situation what do you mean did I see I've not seen it also what's your pick for Hugo versus Falco probably Hugo but I don't know man I don't even know the other guy that's this Saturday too I gotta make a decision on that I gotta probably fix my picks now oh my god I gotta click through a million fucking things Jesus yeah I only got 12 of 13 I don't know the other guy. Where's he from? Pedro Falco. I haven't seen him, man. I got to look him up. I'm assuming Hugo's going to win, but I don't fucking know how the good the other guy is. I don't know how good the other guy is, man. I don't know how the other guy is. I got to look into the other guy. Ask me tomorrow. I got to look into the other guy. Right now, I'm on Topology. I'm going to pick Hugo. I'm going to say sub. Hugo likes to grapple, look for subs. I'm going to pick Hugo via sub. I'm going to say second round sub. I'm just going to lock that into my Topology in case I forget to pick. But I'm not going to forget to pick because I'm going to look into it tomorrow. But ask me tomorrow. So, anyway. You think Stipe has any chance? No. I know you don't like Hill, but I'm rooting for him so hard. Pereira fans on social media are now the same level as Dagestani fans. So annoying. Yeah, I don't know who I'm really rooting for. Why didn't Bruno Silva kick the hell out of Wyman's leg from the start? I don't know. Anyone saying Bruno Silva was going to lose either way is missing the point. Even if you're about to lose, doesn't excuse him blatantly cheating and doubling down on it after the fight. Imagine if Chris Wyman in the middle of the fight, Chris Wyman just pulled down his pants and started beating his dick in the middle of the cage, okay? And the referee's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And waves it off. And then I'm like, what the fuck? Chris Wyman's a fucking weirdo. Why would he do such a thing? And then imagine coming to another man's chat and saying, well, Bruno Silva was losing anyway, so what's it matter? It fucking matters. So, anyway, I'm also rooting for Hill. Pereira's fans are parasocial as hell, acting like girls with their stalking of his relationships. Dude, the Pereira fans are just former Israel Adesanya haters that, that leached on. That latched on. He mentioned on Twitter, but yeah, Emma is making a 50-minute video ranting on what 50? That's a little crazy, but okay. Any any shitting on Weidman is is makes me happy. 
Tell any content creator, I have an unlisted YouTube video of all the eye pokes from Chris Weidman in the description of both of my recent Chris Weidman videos. So anybody who wants to use that so they don't have to worry about copyright and so they don't have to go and search for all the eye pokes, it's all in there. Anyone can use it. So, so he's going to go bald if Brundage wins. I hope Brundage wins. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. Was Weidman on the sauce? Probably. Does Silva deserve to be cut? Massively disappointed? No, because he got fouled so many times. Rampage also talked about with Jones where he stuck his hands out, so if you walked in, you get poked. Basically, yes. And McGrew was on UFC Countdown. So cool for MMA content creators getting mainstream recognition. That is cool. Fun fact, people don't know because it's been so long. I was on the UFC Countdown a while ago. A while ago when I had like 3,000 subscribers. I had a very small snippet in a UFC Countdown. If you know, you know. Why I've been coming isn't inspirational, but that's not to say that's cool if he is. Um, why I've been coming back isn't inspirational when you script the win. It isn't inspirational when you penetrate another man to win. I was on the countdown. It was Figgy versus, it was Moreno versus Kai Kara France, I believe. Moreno versus Kai Kara France, I believe is the one that I was on. It, it's just, um, it's just an audio clip. It's just an audio clip. For like five seconds. I got an email from the UFC. I was talking about Figgy being out of the fight. But it's I think it's Moreno versus Kai Kara France. Which card was that? I'll be able to confirm you tell me which card that was. I can't remember off the top of my head. So. That's not that long ago. You only had like 3K. Yeah, I had like 3K back then. I posted it on my Instagram. UFC 277. Yeah, wasn't it? Was it? I don't know. I have it on my Instagram from a while ago. It was pretty cool. Yeah, the UFC emailed me and told me that it was going to be on there. Let me see if I can find it. It's just a very small audio clip, like five seconds long. But it's funny. People actually heard the shit and they messaged me. Because I forgot about it and then people messaged me saying it was out. Yeah, UFC 277. It's, it's July 29th, 2022. So, it's on my Instagram if you care. Dude, it's only five seconds long, and I'm not even in the video. But it's funny because I forgot about it, and people messaged me. And when it came out, and they told me they heard my voice in there. Yeah, either way, you can find the clip on my Instagram from June of 2022. Pereira versus Sonnen, who'd win? Pereira. Yeah, I only had like 3K back then. I'd still be mad cheating from Wyman, but it would be just as bad if he apologized to Bruno Silva and didn't try to justify it. But it wouldn't be as bad. I agree. I agree. If Diego Lopez has an impressive performance on 300, who do you think he gets next? And do you think he could be champ? I mean, I think he could be champ, but who do, like does that performance prove to me that he can be champ? I haven't seen the performance, so I can't say. But who could he get next? He could get someone like Josh Emmett, Arnold Allen, Yair maybe. So, yeah. I will use your eye poke clip for my video. Listen, it's unlisted in both of my recent Weidman videos. And what you can do, I didn't slow it down in the video, but on YouTube. So if you click on it, like let's say you click on my video. I'm going to go to it real quick. If you click on... The Weidman Cheating Supercut. I'm sure you know how to do this. But you can click on the little gear icon on YouTube and go to playback speed and put it on .25 or .5. One or the other to really slow it down because YouTube allows you to slow it down. So you can really see. I put it on .25 when I went through it just for extra slow. Um, so you can really see every eye poke. But thank you for the 199. If you If you make a video, I want everyone to make a video. Let everyone know. That if they need that, they can go. They will not get copyright from the UFC because I only did very short burst of it. And um, I kind of zoomed in. So it's it's a video that you won't get copyright from the UFC for. And it has all the fouls. It's 55 seconds long. It's unlisted. And it, does, it doesn't have like any branding on it. It's not me talking. It's physically the video itself. So anybody, any content creator that wants to use it, I mentioned it in my recent video that can easily use it and that way they don't have to go track down all the eye pokes and they can easily slow it down. And they can also, they also know that they won't get uh copyright struck by the USA, which is good. So
Thank you for the 199, Marshall. You. Thank you for your journalistic integrity. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but you're welcome. Nobody cares, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who to pick for Lopez. Yusuf. Yusuf has a bad chin, but Lopez is reckless. I, I, fuck, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Am I watching PFL? I'm not right now. I might turn it on. I'm actually beat as hell, dude. Linton Vassell's fighting. Anti, anti delete. I forgot how to pronounce his name. Delia, I think is how you say it. Anti, anti Delia, Ante Delia, versus Valentin Madovsky. I might put it on in a second and watch the main. Thank you for the two dollars, by the way. Seeking truth. How are you tracking for twenty k? I don't know, dude. I've come to like a. I don't want to say a screeching halt, but I've slowed down significantly. There's always booms and busts. Any YouTuber will tell you that. But right now, I am. I might get it. I might be fucked if I don't get a couple big videos. Because I'm 562 away. I'm 562 away. I need a big video. So, not sure I mentioned it yesterday, chat. How bad is it that Jalen Turner versus Moy Connor is the ninth best fight on next week? That's crazy. That is. I think you did mention it. That is crazy. I got Lopez by club and sub. Eustace was deaf alive, dog, to be fair. Yeah, I don't know. Why didn't UFC make 302 a pay-per-view in Saudi with Makhachev, Poirier, Headline, and Whitaker, Chemayev, Komain, Wild would have been sick? I think it would have been sick. They should have. It would have been sick. But either way, man, I'm happy with that fight night card being pretty sick. So... Dude, it's crazy how I was getting like a couple, I was getting like a hundred subscribers a day. Now I'm like, damn, I got fucking eight days to get 20K. I'll get 20K. It doesn't matter. I'm definitely doing a watch along for 300. Did you hear DC back? i been no, but I've been told fuck DC then. Dude was crying and whining about the steep AI pokes. Nate Diaz can't be KO'd. Okay. But yeah, Jalen Turner Moicano is filthy, man. The fact that that's so almost forgotten about. Almost forgotten about. I saw the five second clips. That's just insane for 3K at the time. Yeah, I think I still have the email. I'll tell you what the email says if you want to know what the email says. It was pretty crazy at the time. Um, UFC countdown. All right, here's, a, here's what I got an email that said. My name is blank blank and I'm a producer with the UFC. I wanted to reach out, introduce myself and request permission to use the below video clip. And he's linked to my video. The clip will be used in our upcoming UFC 277 countdown. Please let me know if this is possible as we would love to have it on the show. Thank you so much. So hopefully one day it happens again. It's, I think it's pretty cool. So that's why I'm happy for anyone that gets on there. Um, PFL is barely in the co-main. The pacing is atrocious. Dude, that pisses me off. If Izzy vs. Trikas is leaning towards 305, who does headline International Fight Week if Connor doesn't fight? So that'd be June. Dude, it wouldn't shock me if they put Taporia on there somehow. But I don't know. I don't know. Right now, off the top of my head, I don't know. It could be, they could find something for Newark. Fuck. Me, I'm looking, okay. They could do O'Malley versus Marab. Because Leon Leon versus Bilal is going to be in the UK. Tom Aspinall is going to be in the UK. Maybe John Jones will be ready back then. There's a chance John Jones could be ready. But that's got to be announced shortly, man. That's going to be announced by the end of this month. So maybe it is, maybe Connor will come back. But uh, Drikas is going to be 305. 301 is the Brazil card. 302 is probably going to be Islam. So 303 and 304. 304 is probably London. So 303 is probably... It could be O'Malley versus Marab. Or Taporia versus Volk too. Or Joan Stipe. <laughs> I 
I saw this setup going through the Instagram. Is the cushion under the desk in the all time as a leg rest or something? Yeah, it's an ottoman. It's an ottoman that I put up here mad, mad long ago. Sometimes I'll put my feet up. Other times I just, I put my knees against it sometimes when I'm recording videos. So that way I'm not like sliding down on my chair. Like realistically what I should do is, and this is what I do in most videos. I like push my chair up and now my sh like knees and shins are against the, the ottoman. And usually when I'm like slumping down a little bit, usually like I back up a little bit and I put like one, I'll put like one foot up on there. It's been there for a while. Sometimes I take it out and put it in my spare room and sometimes I have it here, but most of the time I have it here and I've had it here for like two years now. Um, I used to take it out of my living room when, when at Christmas time, we had a bunch of shit down there, like Christmas tree and Christmas presents. And there was like, it was a lot of like my living room was getting kind of cluttered. So this is a, this was an ottoman for my chair. So I have like a, a sectional couch like this, like it's like an L and then over here I got a a nice big ass chair that had this ottoman and then in front of the chair kind of in the corner is where I put a Christmas tree and then there's a bunch of gifts around it. So then it would come out to the ottoman. So it would be kind of weird. And, um, yeah, bro's got a spare room for a spare room. I, I have, uh, my house is four bedrooms and it's basically just me and my fiance. So. I have an office, my fiance has an office, and then I have a, a spare bedroom. I know I need to change up the background eventually. I just, I'm, I have a fear of change. I forgot about Jones already. Talk about everyone from Longo's Gym cheats to win Aldo with grounded knee, Wyman win via eye poke. I mean, I've talked about it. Yeah, I've got an ottoman under my desk as well. It's definitely the play when you're a gamer. Yeah, sometimes I found myself using it a little bit too much, so then I took it out. I don't have an apartment, dude. I have a house. I bought a house many years ago. So. But yeah, it's nice throwing, throwing the feet up on the ottoman a little bit. Like, if I'm really tired, I'll just kick back. And I'll throw up both. Like, both my legs are just chilling up right now. But sometimes that's when I'll hit my desk a little bit. But I never, I'll never record videos like this because then I'm like leaning way too far back. Let JJ move in. Nah, bro, I'm not renting out a room to you. I don't want to live with nobody. So, yeah, you can go stay in my basement. I got a basement. You can stay in my basement. Robert Whitaker wins and Israel Adesanya won. Oh, you've retracted it. Um... Wouldn't you like to know if Whitaker wins and Israel Adesanya won the UFC could give Sean Strickland a rematch? Yeah, that's true. It wouldn't shock me if they make Strickland fight a tough matchup and then he loses and he never fights for the title again. And people will be like, he's being censored. That's what people will say. I recently got in a long... Okay. Shut the fuck up, Pat. Appreciate it. I'm on the way. They probably do Strickland versus Cannon or two. I wouldn't mind that. Imagine they do Strickland versus Ikram. Because I think Ikram is a bad matchup for Strickland. Am I crazy for thinking Ikram is a bad matchup for Strickland? Let me know, boys. Am I crazy? I mean, the, the way Drikas is taking him down with these, the way Abu shot through him in the first round, I think Ikram has got good enough cardio. I think he would beat Strickland. I know that sounds crazy right now because Ikram hasn't really beaten anyone yet. But... I think Strickland went from one of the most underrated fighters of all time to the most overrated fighter of all time. And I think it's going to be hilarious watching him lose to like Ikram or Kaio Baraglio. Have you seen the UFC 300 trailer? How do you see the matchups they had on screen going? Yes, but I don't remember. Your opinion on why overmelling amount of people watch the show but not hit the like? That's just the way it always is, dude. Like the stream, subscribe to the channel right this very second. Everyone like the stream. Let's see how many likes we can get. We're at 31. We have 94 people in the chat right now. That's just the way it is, man. People don't want to like it. And there's some hate watchers as well. They're just hate watching. Damn. I can't believe my new Weidman video only got 5K. That's a fucking embarrassment. I thought it was going to do good. My new 300 video almost did 7K. And that was just me talking about, hey, this fight's good. That fight's good. That's actually pretty good. 
I need another 100k video to boom, jump up. Who do you think wins Ikram or Bo Nickel? I'll say Ikram. I think Izzy beats DDP. I don't know why I got it. I think Izzy beats DDP too. I think he probably slumps him. Or just picks him apart for five rounds. Because DDP is super, super uh, durable. Those Connor videos got me subbed. They went viral. Do you watch the rest of the videos though? That's what matters. Joe, you mentioned one's championships, financial issues in the past. Now we're hearing these fighters not being able to get a fight for up to two years. Do you think one championship will go under? I don't know. I don't have, I haven't done a deep dive and in, deep dive into their financials, but I knew that knew for a while they were having financial troubles because of the way they lie about their financials publicly. And uh, it wouldn't shock me if they just randomly went under one day. You know, I, I think Chachri Sichitong is a snake oil salesman. Yes, and I'm clearly in your live stream. Thank you. Yeah, I want to get my prediction videos up. I, I got to work on, like, adding more images and whatnot. It's my fault. But it's just sometimes it's so fucking tedious for, like, these shitty Apex cards and adding a bunch of images. But I really should add more images because that's why people don't watch them as much. Because they're like, oh, I'm just looking at this dude for 35 minutes straight talking about fights. And there should be more images in there. Post fights actually do pretty good. I like the post fights. Like UFC Atlantic City, 5K for me for the post fight. That's a shit card. I bet you nobody, even people who have big fucking channels, do shit views on that for their respective subscriber base. Um, let's see. When's the last time we had a big post fight? Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Ew, 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 Tybora. Full card post fight for 299 only did 8K. Oh, I did do one on the main event as well. So that was like six. So it's 16K basically. Not too shabby. Yeah, if you guys can do me a favor, make sure to be checking out the full car predictions. Make sure to be checking out the post fights. So. Some people act like Max is moving up to Walter It's just 10 pounds. Yeah, but it's 10 pounds a lot. You should make your video in favorite moments from 200 cards. Like 200 UFC 299. I, I, fuck it. I can't figure all that out. That's too much. I'm not a big fan of like listing this, listing that. I'm just pissed we wasted 299's main event on dumbass Marlon Vera. Dumbass Marlon Vera. It's just an embarrassment. When's your next video drop? It maybe after the stream. I still got to make a thumbnail, but I might just drop it tonight. 10 pounds is a lot. Yeah, especially when it's, uh, you know, like 8% of your body weight, your overall weigh-in weight. Cron Gracie, next champ. Imagine Volk compared to Turner. That's true. That's true. We well, have to think about it. The lower your body weight, the more, uh, yeah. Joe, we need cuts of some time. I know, dude. The full card picks have been fucking killing me, bro. Blame the full card picks. I know. I want to do the cuts video. But now I just feel like I'm already past that point where I just start back up at some point. Like, I can start back up, but I'm saying, like, in the past, I don't know. It's just hard for me now to remember all the performances, like, and who I really thought was a shit stain, you know? I, I don't care about Justin's custom gloves, man. I'm sorry. You know Dana's praying for the championship to fall down so he can soak up their females division? Maybe. When Weidman was fighting, I was feeling wide. Then when he eye poked, I was feeling eyed. I mean, that was... I mean, that's a fucking real knee slapper. That's a real fucking knee slapper, my friend. A straight up knee slapper. Got me laughing my ass off, buddy boy. I mean, that was hysterical. I've never laughed so hard in my entire life. I can't believe. I'm watching the Connor B press conference and Connor was on way more whiskey back then. Dude, he was drinking. He was showing up drunk to that shit. The best part was when Habib left and said, I showed up here on time. He forced Dana and the UFC to start the press conference on time. He forced them to start the press conference on time. And then left after his 30 minutes and said, I'm out of here. That was the ultimate, ultimate move for Habib. Fucking brilliant. 
Dude, I need Chandler to come out and do another delusional interview. And, uh, yeah. I'm just happy I'm replacing my most popular videos with new most popular videos. Two weeks ago, I killed it with the Connor, the two Connor videos were just straight up bangers. Over 100K. Now I need a 200K video next. Where's Fazeev been? He tore his ACL or some shit. That was a gangster move by Habib, 100%. Dude went in. Dude went in and said, you know what? Fuck this motherfucker. He said, fuck this motherfucker. I'm not waiting for him. I don't wait for anyone. He told the UFC, start this shit up or I'm leaving. We're not. I'm not waiting on this dude. Because Habib, uh, Connor just did that to be a dick. Because he thought he was a big shot. He would just show up late to fuck with his opponent. Fuck him. Habib beat the fuck out of him for that disrespect he did. Is Chandler still away from his family? What's your first fight for 300 prediction video? I don't know, dude. I, I, I'm i I'm already stressed, dude. I, I got to get started on it. I should be pumping out individual videos right now. And I'm not. I still got other videos I want to do. So basically what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to do a full car prediction video first. And then I'm going to drop three or four individual breakdowns next week. So I got to do a main event. I got to do Gaethje Max Holloway. I got to do Oliveira Saryukian. So main event, Gaethje Holloway, Oliveira Saryukian, and then maybe one more like Yuri versus Rockage. And that's really all I need for the full, full breakdowns. So I'm going to try to get three or four individual videos and then the full cards. So that's the goal. That is the goal. So. Did Chandler pull up the calculator for his June camp? Yeah. He said, well, 60 days from now and 60 is 60 days from then. And three reasons you love and hate. I have that video, the hate already recorded. And if I have time, I'll do the love. Um, so. Hold on. <coughs> hold on one second. I just heard something real quick. Okay. Chandler needs to do coke. That's true. Since the last time Michael Chandler fought, there have been four new middleweight champions. Alex Pereira, Israel Adesanya, Sean Strickland, Drinkus Duplessis. That's crazy. Have your beard become darker since the early days or just the lighting? I guess it's just the lighting, bro. I don't know. My beard's been the same, I think. Who else thinks the UFC is ousting Strickland because of his unfilteredness? How are they ousting him? No, I don't think they are. I don't think they are. But yeah, it's crazy. Chandler's gonna sit out. Chandler's gonna sit out for two years. Chandler's gonna sit out for two fucking years. What a clown! What a fucking clown! You don't hear shit from him, no interviews, no nothing. Dude, all he does is complain on social media. I feel like every other day there's a new news article about Strickland. So I don't know. I just disagree. I disagree. But we'll see. Time will tell. Time will tell. My beard's grown out right now, by the way. I haven't sh I haven't trimmed my beard in like a week. I'll trim it before I record my prediction video, so it'll be it'll be looking back to looking slick. Cause right now it's just bushy as hell. I'm gonna trim it down real nice and 
and slick soon. So it's just really bushy right now. And watch, everyone's gonna comment on my on my videos and be like, "Oh man, you look different." We'll see. All right, I I see your message, fries. <sighs> All right. If you want a rich sponsor link, I know the COO. I'll send him an email. <laughs> uh, I'm not really big on sponsorships. Thoughts on James Krause? I know we haven't had any information. What products do you use to keep it so luscious? Honestly, I don't really don't use much. Occasionally, I'll use some beard oil, but very, but not even that often. I used to try to use it all more often just to stop it from being itchy when it grows out. Hope you're having a good night. Back in the chat soon on the first shift right now. Go back to the second after next week. Awesome. Joey and Fry's playing touch, but no. Michael Chandler should return against Metallic Gamrot. He should return against Benoit Saint-Denis. I want to see Michael Chandler sacrificed to Benoit Saint-Denis at UFC Paris. Why do you think Waldo Cortez Acosta, who is 11-1 versus Cuban Specimen, Rubellis, I love it because I fucking hate Waldo Cortez Acosta and I want to see him slumped out cold. You didn't need to send the message four times over the span of five seconds though. But I'll let it slide this one time. It's not really two years. It's delayed by nine months because Chandler would have fought Connor earliest. Up. Did, did, no. No. He fought in November of 2022. It is now almost May of 2024. So, it's a year and a half right now. Stop jumping through hoops to defend his dumb ass. I want to see Weidman out cold. I want to see Weidman out cold with two missing eyeballs. Metallic Gamrot versus Benoit saint instead that a Gamrot needs to go to sleep. That'd actually be a banger, too. I'd like to see that banger. What's up with all the gold for UFC 300? Theories? Fucking. They just want to hype up that there's ex-champions on the card. When is your Weidman bobblehead coming in? Never. Never, never, never. Fuck Wyman. PFL so trash. I'm not even tuning in because of the pacing. Wyman Rockhold because someone is getting slept. Rockhold's in BKFC now, isn't he? It's rare to see what Waldo is 11 and 1, but always decision in the UFC. How can heavyweights last three rounds with anyone being knocked out? Black and gold canvas would be dope. Shut the fuck up, Vince. It's going to look like shit, dude. I wish they just stick with the normal, normal. Canvas. Don't say that, Vince. We don't want to change the canvas. But they're going to. They're going to have some unveiling of some bullshit canvas that's going to look like dog shit. So, it is what it is. Rockhold quit BKFC. Did he quit BKFC? I hope you were just trolling me, Vince. If UFC had PFL pay... Dude, sometimes they do. We let the UFC get away with it, but sometimes they do. No doubt the color is going to be different. I pray not, man. I pray not. What do you think of Rodolfo Bellato, friend of Alex? It's too early to tell how good he is, but the fact he's having a, a fight where he almost got finished by Ihor Potieria kind of has me doubting his skill set overall. I'm fucking with you. Good. Good. Last week, the pacing was so shit, I almost went to sleep. Dude, there's been a couple times the UFC's had really, really bad pace. I'll never forget UFC two, UFC 190. Was the worst pacing I've ever seen in my life. It went on until like 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm not shitting you. Who remembers UFC 190? It was Ronda Rousey, Betch Kohada. That was the worst pacing of any UFC card in the history. They kept it on until like 3 a.m. I swear on my life, 3 a.m. For whatever reason, they fucked up and they just kept us up to like 3 a.m. I wish I could find what time it ended. What time did UFC 190 go off? I don't know. It doesn't have it on here. I'll tell you this. The main event didn't start till way after 1 a.m. I'll tell you this right now. It was after 1 a.m. The main event started. I know that for a fact. So it was at least like close to 2 a.m. when it ended. 
Does anyone remember that but me? UFC 190. I believe they were in Brazil. I remember being so pissed off. I'm like, oh my god, this is a shit card. They had like a weird like six fight main card on the pay per view, and they started at the same time and then just drew it out forever. I was fucking heated. I was tired of shit that night too. I remember. Oh my god, if I'd have had a channel then, I'd have fucking died. I'd have just skipped a post fight. Weren't they in Brazil? I believe they were in Brazil. Dude, Betch Coheta, people acted like Betch Coheta was good, dude. She was the least athletic fighter I've seen in my entire life. So, did you see Lucas Tracy's video on Armin Charles? No. What did he say? Bo Nickel, next fight should be Marvin Vittori. Sure. Sure, or feed him to Brendan Allen. I think he could beat Brendan Allen. Joey, add me to the lot. No. I'm not adding you to the fucking live. I don't even have the ability to do that. I'm on OBS. What if Luke fought Ian Gary like he was supposed to? Luke would have got the fuck beat out of him. Probably finished badly. It's confirmed that Max Justin is a five-rounder. I believe so. If What if Copeland refs UFC 300 main card all fights? I'm not watching that shit. Daddy's home. Shut up. What, who does Ian Gary fight next? Probably Usman. I don't think Colby's taking the fight. I'm telling you right now. He, Colby's a pussy, dude. Colby's scared of Ian Machado Gary. What do you think Connor can become a movie star? He thinks of it. Dude, he said he can play any role. He's truly delusional. He said I can play any role. I can play any role in any movie. So that's just straight up delusional. <laughs> Yeah, but Luke would have got the brakes beat off him by Ian Gary. Did anyone else watch Roadhouse? No. I can't believe we get to witness history and see the BMF title defend it. Connor's going to be doing gay porn. Well, he likes it on Twitter, so. I still can't believe Connor McGregor blocked me on Twitter. I never even tweeted at him or anything. Dude blocked me on Twitter somehow. Like, he must have saw a video or something, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So. I don't get it. I don't get it. But yeah. Apparently I have 50 million views in two weeks. Okay. That's a bad of honor to get badge of honor to get blocked. Yeah, I just have no idea how. Does Whitaker Hamzat win her fight for the title afterwards? If it's Hamzat, definitely. He watches everything. That's why he has, makes a little adjustment in his face and shit. Connor reads all the comments or has someone reading them. You think so? I don't think so. So. Luke versus Barbarina was such a banger. I don't even remember that, dude. It's been so long. Hope all is well. Just hit 1,900 subs. Let's get Joey to 20K. Thank you, MMA Now. I appreciate it. Congratulations. You'll be at 2K soon, bro. I remember hitting 2K not that long ago. What Ikram is not fighting anymore? I want to see him in the middleweight. Apparently, he's got a fight coming up soon. They use a Guru clip and 300 count. That show. Someone said that earlier. That's pretty cool. You did the two Connor videos. Hit one. Yeah, but he blocked me before that. Long before that. Men and Fjord Rot can beat him in a Nunes. No. I literally think Connor chills coked out on his phone in the middle of the night reading Instagram comments. What, he just searches his name on YouTube over and over again until, and just posts, like, recently uploaded it. What's your favorite bagel? Just a regular. What's the first UFC fight you ever watched? I don't remember. The first pay-per-view I ever ordered was 114. I don't remember the first fight I've ever seen. It may have been Chuck Liddell, Vanderlei Silva on a rerun, though. I feel like I vaguely remember that as the first fight I've ever seen. All you have to do is test it, say something, and see if he does it. That doesn't makes absolutely no sense. Tony F bo- blocked me on IG for telling me to retire. Thank you for the 199, Pat Matthew. Tony F blocked me on IG because I was sitting next to him on the uh, bus to the Apex, and, and I just ripped ass right next to him, so he blocked me on Instagram. Connor's probably in the chat. Imagine, Dude, if Connor was in the chat right now, I'd fucking die. That'd be funniest shit ever. I'd love to get a Connor interview for sure. You know how viral a Connor interview would go right now? I'd ask him all the questions. Chills and insp- No. 
Absolutely not. Stop. Absolutely not. I fucked up. I was at when I was out playing disc golf for like four hours straight. I never took a drink of water. So now I'm like dehydrated as fuck right now. I was just so I was just so focused on just fucking ripping it up. And it was fucking pouring down rain for like 20 minutes straight. It was fucking 30 mile an hour winds. Then it got nice. It was a good time. But I didn't drink enough water. I didn't drink any water. So I went plus six. I shared your video to my, your Weidman video to my bro and he talks shit and disagree with your take to put it mildly. I lost a little respect for him. You should lose respect for him, dude. If he can't agree with what I said, he's a puss. Can you imagine Connor wiping his nose furiously while he sits crisscross, crisscross applesauce on his bed blocking Joey, basically? Yeah, I feel the same way after farting. Okay, did you see Peyton Talbot interview by the girl that was blind date? Not an interview, did not. Go back to him versus Cowboy. That's his most honest interview. He tells about going to spar and binging for days after during camp. That's fair. Yeah, I've done a lot better. Usually I go even or negative. Recently, at least. Historically, maybe not. But recently, I've been going like even. It's like a real tough course, too. Let's see what I've been doing historically. So today I went plus six. Last time I went, I went plus six. Before that, I went plus one. Before that, I went even. Before that, I went... No, that's not it. That's a different one. Before that, I went even. Before that, I went plus six. So it looked like plus six. Before that, I went even. Before that, I went negative one. Before that, I went even. So, olives by sub is plus 400. That's crazy. Clipping that and send it to him. Yeah, tell him I said he's a pussy. Connor just blasting snow on his yacht all day, liking content about himself from channels that suck him off. Yeah. That's facts. That's facts, bro. He's just Googling his own name. He's just Googling his own name over and over. Imagine being that weird. I wonder if it was actually Connor that blocked me. I wonder if it was Connor that actually blocked me or like a manager or something blocked me. I had never tagged him in anything. So he must have saw something. You should give me the golden name on Discord. Who won? I was supposed to update that. Who won this last week? Does anyone remember? I came in tap. All right. Are you, did you actually, or are you fucking with me right now? Cause I don't feel like checking. And if you did, I'm never giving you the name again. If you're lying, has Laura Sanko commentary with Rogan? I don't think so. Dakota DeVitcha from PFL is a baddie. She said she would whoop the UFC girls. He probably uses a Siri to search up his new name. I for real did. Okay. All right. I got you right now. Start JJ. Start reminding me to do that. No matter if it's you or not, even if it's someone else, can you start reminding me to do that? If you can remember, I just forget, man. I got so much shit going on. I always forget to do that shit. Try to remind me because I like to change that um, based on who won. So I just made you it. You're good. It's You got it now. So hopefully you weren't lying. Yeah, but just start reminding me if you could. If you could. My Fior... Pick came in clutch, dude. I had fewer early predictions, and then I changed it. Meanwhile, Chandler on a three days still for the fight. Meanwhile, Chandler on three days for the fight. That's true. He left his family in early January. Um, I got you. Thank you. Where's okay? Guru just made a video about Wyman. Did he? That's what someone said earlier. He was going to fuck Chris Wyman. I hope everyone shits on Chris Wyman. Let me let me look. Someone said he made a fifty minute video. Let me take a look. Um, I guess not. Someone lied. At least it didn't come up. At least it didn't come up. Oh, no, here it is. It just came up. Yeah. Good. Um, Weidman did nothing wrong. Hawani DC is being exposed for defending Weidman. Yeah, I don't understand how people can defend Weidman. Yeah, I, I don't I don't get how you could think it was uh I don't get how you could think it was anyone else's fault but Chris Weidman's fault. 
So, did you see Cody bombed his walls at his house? I did not. Say what you will about Wyman, but crumble to the floor after your eye pokes is suspect as fuck. All right, remember that next time I see you, you pussy. Came 45th in the world on tap last car. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Dude said, say what you will. Say what you will. Yeah. Snag Lord. I hope tomorrow when you wake up and you leave to go outside for your job or for any free, you know, time, leisure activity. I hope I hope you snag Lord. I'm I'm wishing you right now to be illegally penetrated six times by another grown man. And then when you cry about it, I'm gonna blame you for it. That's what that's what I hope happens to you. Hey Joe, did you watch Roadhouse? No, I will never watch Roadhouse. This shit looks garbage. I just don't have any time to watch a shit movie when there's a lot of good shit to watch, potentially. So, can we all wish Snag Lord tomorrow when he goes outside for his free time or for work, he gets illegally penetrated six times and then someone blames him for it? Can we can we all wish that on Snag Lord tomorrow? That he is illegally penetrated six times and then is blamed for it? So, I used to be able to throw football for miles, preferably mountains. Yeah. Yeah, I used to I used to be uh, able to throw a pigskin over the mountains. Coach would have put me in fourth quarter, we would have took states. Joey, I feel like if your name was no, stop. It's a funny movie though. I'm sure it's garbage. I'm sure it's straight up garbage. It's not good. That's how you get red carded. I don't know what you mean. I'm just saying. Chris Weidman's out there illegally penetrating dudes. Illegally. I'm tweeting that out. Chris Weidman really spent his Saturday night illegally penetrating another man six times. And then spent the subsequent days victim blaming. <laughs> hey, everybody go co-sign that on Twitter. Everyone go co-sign my tweet. Chris Wyman really spent his Saturday night illegally penetrating another man six times and then spent the subsequent days victim blaming. Let me, let me add a little bit in. What a complete... An utter piece of shit. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. An utter piece of shit who deserves to be cut by the UFC and never fight again. There we go. Yeah, that's what need that's what we need to start. We need to really start framing the argument that way. Everybody go co-sign it. It's out right now. Prediction for 302 and 303 main event. 302, it's going to be Islam versus Poirier. And 303, I'll say it's Jones, Stipe, or O'Malley Weidman. O'Malley Weidman, I mean O'Malley Marab. Are you a fan of Kamar Usman? I would say yeah. I would say yeah. Good news, Wyman faces better competition. We'll get to watch him get KO'd. I hope they give him much better competition. Which do you pick, Gon or Pavlo? I don't fucking know. I probably pick Gon. I think Gon stylistically is a bad matchup for Pavlovich. I'm not going to enjoy Roadhouse, dude. I, I don't have time to watch absolute horseshit. Fallout looks like a good show coming out on Prime. Okay. Predictions, okay, you read that. Good news. Yeah, I hope Wyman gets brutally KO'd in his next fight. I genuinely hope Wyman gets brutally KO'd in his next fight. So. Damn.
PFL main event starting. I put five dollars, five dollars on Madowski K O T K O. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even feel like turning it on. I mean, I guess I'll go click on it. I'm just not in the mood to watch PFL tonight. For fighters, I don't give a fuck about tonight. I see anti Ante Delia. I think is how you pronounce his name, Delia. His own versus Poirier will be a good fight. Winner versus Justin match. Charles Armin, yeah, basically. I just think it's fucking stupid, man. It should it should be it should be something else. It should be something else. It genuinely should be something else. In their prime, would you pick Izzy or Silva? Probably Silva. I know most definitely pick Silva, but I'm biased for Silva, so. Dude, Dalia looks old as fuck. They both look kind of old, but Dalia looks really old. This is who Ngannou needs to just be KOing for $10 million a fight. Dude, I'm not Wyman. I keep saying Wyman, Ngannou. I just keep thinking Wyman getting brutally KO'd. I wish he would go fight Ngannou in PFL. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm dead ass. Dalia looks old as fuck. He looks old throwing too. He just clipped Madovsky with a right hand. Ooh, left hand from uh, Dalia. Oh, not shot. Apparently not shot. They're pausing it now. Never forget Dana faked an Islam injury to get Gaethje Max. What a disgrace that was. What about Izzy DDP? Which pay per view? It'll be three oh five in in August. So, is is this called Aura? I randomly scrolled my Facebook account, suddenly watching a legal live stream about Asanya Alex One. Watched the whole fight and started watching UFC in previ- in the previous fight. Is what well, I don't know what you mean. I have no idea what the phrasing of that question. The Dalia dude looks like looks like he's sixty five. Dude, he really does, dude. Looks old as fuck. I hate this massive graphic they put on the screen here. Why he just look away? Yeah, I think Madovsky probably KOs him in the sec- first or second. If I had to guess, but without any doing any research, just looking at him right now. I've seen him both fight multiple times, but yeah, Madovsky looks like he's piecing him up right now. Dude, imagine what Ngannou would do to anti Dalia. Dude, he would fucking knock him into another dimension. It'd be glorious to watch. He's getting busted up right now by the Madovsky. Is that Fedor in his corner? Oh, yeah, he's done. Madovsky's going to KO him. It's done. It's done. It's done. He KOs him in the first round. TKOs him. He's done. Madovsky finished him quick. So there you go. Whoever just said they bet, they won. I can't believe we're getting Derek Lewis, Rodrigo, not Cemento main event in 2024. I know it's a joke. It's an absolute joke. Uh, what a what an absolute joke that is. What do you think about Yuri on the prelims? I think it's a disgrace. He seemed Doug could clinch a fist against Josh. Nasamento got a split against Latifi like two fights ago. Joey definitely has Chris on his mind. Dude, I just think he's a piece of shit, man. I think he's a piece of shit. Like, I, I'm genuinely... I genuinely think he's a total piece of shit. For the way he acted. Literally people act like he's a class act. That's what pisses me off about it. Joey definitely has... Cur- okay, I read that. Damn, we already been live for over an hour. Dude, Madalski just worked over Dalia. Just worked over Dalia bad. That's wild. I think Chris just replaced Jeremy Stevens. I bet the KO to plus 1200 was crazy odds. I'll put the slip in the Discord. Put it in the Discord. That's a great bet, bro. That's a great bet. Once I seen him, I said, dude, Madovsky actually is going to KO him. That's what I was saying right before, like t- like 30 seconds before he actually KO'd him. He was lighting him up, dude. 
How much did you bet though? At plus twelve hundred odds, how much did you actually bet? Joe, what's the best fight that mixes all aspects of MMA except expect Yuri Glover? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know. That's a good question. I truly don't know off the top of my head. I can't think of one right now. Yuri Glover really did mix it all together. I'm sure there's other ones. Five to win 65. Dude, don't you wish you'd bet 100? I know it's easy said now. You'd be $1,200 richer right now, but five to 65 ain't bad, bro. Five to 65 isn't bad at all. Isn't bad at all. So. How many rounds does Dustin go against Islam? One or two. I think he gets rear naked choked. He's going to end up on the ground and get rear naked choked. Dude gives up. Dude just gives up his back consistently. Over and over and over and over again. Let me just give up my back. That's why I picked BSD against him. Against Islam, dude, he's done for. Against BS uh, against Islam, yeah, he's done for. So. Whoa. Islam round two sub. Yeah, I would take Islam round one or two sub. Can Islam ever pass a beat being he got knocked out? Yes. Losses from a long time ago don't really matter. I'm rooting for Dawson if he pulls a guillotine against Makhachev. I genuinely hope he loses. He's probably going to. Lily put in the bet on the walkout. Looked like Tapo and saw he lost to Bader and was a decision machine before that. Smart move, my friend. It sounds like you're addicted to gambling, though. Betting on the PFL main event. That was a filthy KO, though. That was a filthy KO, though. So. If you were Dana, who would the first three fighters you cut? Immediately get rid of Chris Weidman. Then I had to think about the other two. I'd have to think about the other two. I'd probably just get rid of Aljamain Sterling just for what he did years ago. But I'll wait till he gets touched up by Calvin Cater. I would argue that Dustin has a better chance to beat Islam than Justin because Dustin has a better ground game. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, guess so. I guess so. Dude, I think Islam could beat his ass on the feet. People underestimate Islam striking, dude. Especially. If you had an all-time matchup, what would it be? I want GSP in his prime versus Anderson Silva in his prime. That's a fight that I always wanted, desperately wanted. That was a fight to make. Who remembers Lorenzo Fertitta tweeting out, strike why the iron is hot, and dude never made it. There were so many talks for so many years about GSP Anderson Silva. The MMA community wanted it so bad, and it never happened. Thank you for the 199, Rick. I appreciate you, man. That or John Jones Rumble Johnson, I always wanted to see as well. Dustin's not beating Islam, I agree. Who's the hardest leg kicker at 300? Justin Gaethje. 100% Justin Gaethje. If I'm Dustin, I'm just blowing my gas tank all in round one and pray for the best. Dude, if I was Dustin, I'd just run out there like a fucking crazy madman and try to get a KO. Like, just, I don't care if I get KO'd. I don't care if he takes me down and submits me immediately, but I'm just a hundred percent of my energy is looking for a third first 30 second KO. I think 300 is perfect. MMA gods better not mess us up. I'm telling you right now, Kayla Harrison is versus Holly Holmes not happening. So I'm telling you right now, it's not happening, but we'll see. It might. Just comment on a random vid for the Discord link. Oh, I fucked up. You didn't have it. I, I fucked up, dude. I gotta update that, but it's just a pain in the ass because then it, it, it. Um. 
I don't see it. What? Did you just comment on it? I don't see it. I don't see it, bro. But go do it. Invite people. Generate link. Copy link. I wish I could search by name in the comments. That's annoying. Did you comment from a different account? Right, because after 60 seconds, the fight will turn for the worse. Yeah. With Rosas Jr. on the prelim somewhere. Sup, Joey? I have my first jiu-jitsu competition in two weeks. Wish me luck. I wish you luck, Eric, in your jiu-jitsu competition. I hope Nicholas Bumdage pulls off a crazy upset. I will laugh my fucking ass off, and I will never say another bad word about Cody Bumdage. Just finished watching some PFL mismatches, some terrible transitions with the broadcast, but overall, better than the last few Apex cards. I watched the main event. I saw Madovsky just slump him. Yeah, I don't know why I said Nicholas. It's Cody Bumdage, but yeah. What are you? What is the most excited you have been for a fight that was booked but never happened? Probably Jones Rumble. Probably Jones Rumble. I really wanted to see that. Strickland crying vid. You just commented on it? Maybe he got flagged somehow? Let's see if he got flagged somehow. Yeah, I don't see it. Let me see show hidden comments. I swear I don't see it anywhere. Um, just go to the hey, go to the members community tab right now. I'm gonna post it right now on the members community tab. I'm posting it right now for the members community tab. Can you go there right now, Ko? Go there right now. Member, do you know how to get there? Before I post it, do you know how to get there? Because there's some other members who may might not have the Discord link right now that may grab it up first. But I want to make sure because we had a bunch of gifted members. I didn't want to have any uh like crazy weirdos in there. But now there's gonna be someone just scoping it out. So because we had people sharing around the link before. Jay, do you think Usman should keep fighting or retire? I think he should keep fighting, especially if he needs the money. I think he can still be one of the, the best. So. Do you think the Usman Strickland 2 rumors are true? No. I do not think they are true. His best win is Zach Reese, I know. And Zach Reese was locking up a triangle and got Batista bombed. Rip Kimbo. R.I.P. Kimbo. Yeah, I doubt Usman Strickland happens. If anything, it's probably be Strickland versus Kimbo. Probably be Strickland versus Kimbo. Discord's always been for members, bro. I can't have a bunch of people in there trolling. Otherwise, I let everyone in. But it's like people are going to act fucking stupid and can't control themselves. So... I can't, uh, can't allow it. Just can't allow it. Can't let you get close. So, can't believe they make him leave after the fight. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. I tweeted that out. I tweeted that out. Will Adams, thank you for the 11 months of membership. Much love, Joey. You are my son. Okay. All right. Much live. All right, I'm deleting that link now. I think KO got it. I would hope he, nope, he didn't join yet. So he probably didn't get it. Can't let you get close, Joe. What will the canvas be at 300? Probably some ugly ass fucking gold and I'm going to blow a gasket. What weight class next for Usman? Probably Walter Wade if he's smart. Power Slap is turning into WWE now. It's starting to suck no merit anymore. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty. Uh, 
Alrighty, dude's complaining about power slap. Alright, I'll take your word for it. And this is actually pissing me off now. <whistles> Damn. Imagine a black canvas. I think it'd be fucking stupid. Who knows what they're bound to do. I'm guaranteed it's going to be ugly as shit. I think it's going to be ugly as hell. I think it's going to be ugly as hell. Yo, who you got in Whitaker Chemayev? I'm going Chemayev by finish, bro. I think he finishes in Paul's. A fully white canvas with no ads would be beastly. I don't know how it would look. Sup, Joey? What's up? Thoughts when we are still waiting for more fight announcements for 300? No, we're not. Every fight announcement for UFC 300 has been made. It has been made. Luckily. I got so tired of people complaining about 300 announcement, 300 announcement, 300 announcement. But no. Dude, Dana White drug it out and drug it out and drug it out. All to literally, all to literally just announce it at a post-fight presser at like 2 o'clock in the morning. I mean, how crazy is that? I mean, we didn't even get any special announcement. We genuinely didn't get any special announcement. It was just, oh, let's announce it at the post-fight presser. They botched UFC 300 in general. Um... UFC 300 is fine. Dana dragging it out made it worse. I know. All to not even have a special announcement. Dude, drug it out to not have a special announcement. That's what drove me nuts. If Whitaker beats Hamzat, we get Whitaker Adesanya 3 or Whitaker Duplessis 2. Who knows, dude. The UFC promises this and promises that all the time. And it doesn't actually happen. What's your scoring for UFC 300? I don't know. I have to make a video on that. But it's, it's high. It's going to be like a 9, 9.5, somewhere around there. Let me do this. Pereira versus Jamal Hill. Save. Let me see if I did this. Okay. Let me see. Let me see actually if I can whip up my thumbnail right quick. And I'll drop this video at the end of the stream. Shit. Shit. Let me see if I have like a thumbnail saved. That's ugly. Um. All right. Reasons. I really should mix up the thumbnail, honestly. I bet you the thumbnail would do better if I did. Like, mix it up a bit. I'm going to drop in the reasons I hate UFC 300. I'm just going to drop it at the end of the stream. Fuck it. I just got to make a quick thumbnail. I'm going to switch back and forth between thumbnail and chat. Top three fighters you want to interview right now. Thank you for the 199. <sighs> Conor McGregor. Give me Conor McGregor, Dana White. I know he's not a fighter. And I'll say John Jones. 
I'll say John Jones. I think that makes the most sense. I just got to grab a couple pictures. Damn. How does Jamal... Oh, here's a good decent picture of Jamal Hill. Pause. Let me actually see if Getty has any better pictures. For some reason on Google, there's like no good pictures of Jamal Hill. Pause. There's like no good pictures of Jamal Hill. How is that possible? Let's see if there's any on Getty. Giddy, 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 giddy. Because I, I like to mix up my... Uh, My uh, photos that I have on here. Let's see what this one is. I think this one will do, actually. Oof. That'll do. I'm banging out a thumbnail as we speak so I can drop a video to you boys. I just joined. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm rolling with Hill. I may be it. I don't know who I'm rolling with yet. I would pay to see you interview Dana White. Dude, it would be a fucking banger. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. It would be a straight up banger. Okay, X out of that. Fuck. Now I need to get a banger pic picture of Alex Pedetta. Are you? I try to use different images. That's my problem. I try to get different images for each time. I don't want to use the same images because I want I want you guys to see something fresh. I want you to see something nice and fresh. This is actually a good image. So I try to I try to freshen it up. You don't know how much time I spend looking for photos for thumbnails. And then I adjust each individual photo as well. Who should I put dead center? I'm trying to think who do I put dead center? I don't know. Max Holloway maybe? I guess I'll put Max Holloway. Let me see if I can find a good picture of Max Holloway. Dude's fighting the dead corpse of the Korean zombie. I'll use this one. Ooh, let me actually save that image. It's actually a pretty good image. I'll put Max Holloway dead center. What the fuck? I actually put the wrong picture there. Because I saved this picture instead of copying it. Don't worry, boys. Video's coming soon. Videos coming soon. This is actually good for my side by sides. Max Holloway dead center. Then we'll do. I guess we'll do Oliveira and Armin. Charles Oliveira. Come on, give me a banger. Pick of Oliveira that I have not seen or used before. I've used that before. Damn, I've used that one before. Damn, I need to start searching on here a little bit more. Damn, it's tough sometimes. There's so many pictures to choose from here. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to go back and use this first one I saw, I think. I kind of like this. This is a little bit different. I don't know, though. I don't know, boys. That's where I run into issues. Copy image. This might be fucked up. And I'm not reading the chat, and I should be. Damn, I got this fucking dumbass shit in here.
One second, boys. I got to get rid of this dumbass fucking... Ah, fucked it up. Oh, well, it is what it is. It's how long it takes for me to make a damn thumbnail. And that does, just doesn't look right. I guess that kind of looks right, right? I guess that kind of looks right. <clears throat> Let me get back to chat in one second. I just don't like the way that looks. It looks like a shit pick. Copy and paste that. This, this, this is what I go through, boys, when, when you're not around. I'm out here grinding for photos. Pause. Oh, no, no, I just fucked it up. And now I got to redo it. Oh, my God. I actually tilted the photo. Someone who's just popping in is probably like, what in the hell is going on here? All right, I'm going back to the chat now. I seriously wonder what subreddits Joey follow on Reddit. I don't really get on Reddit. Um, just rewatch your tomorrow Hamzat video and you were really worried about Hamzat's cardio and he may gas out. Could be effects from COVID. Could you see Hamzat gas from Whitaker's pressure? I could, but I think he's gonna I think he's gonna fight. I think he's gonna fight a little bit different. I think he's gonna fight a little bit different in a five rounder. And also I think <clears throat> I think the cardio issue is a little bit a little bit overrated. Is anyone else audio seem low? I was talking very quietly there. I was talking very quietly there. I'm surprised you guys all hung around. All right, I need one more picture though. Armin Saryukin. I guess I'll use this one. Copy. And that way I can drop this for you guys at the end of the stream. Clip. Yeah, I wish this photo was a little bit better, but it is what it is. So after I figure out what images I'm going to use, I go in constantly custom tweak them with a raw filter. So I I mess, mess with the texture. I mess with the overall lighting exposure. I mess with the contrast a little bit. And I just try to make them really pop out. Sometimes they look really good. Other times they don't look that great. But yeah, if you notice, you'll see pictures kind of really pop and pause. I mess with the saturation. Right there looks pretty good. Exposure on this one a little bit. And then the texture, I really think it makes it look good when you when you up the texture a little bit. For some reason, this Poetan picture looks kind of blurry, which I don't like, but it looks all right, I think. And like this Max Holloway picture is a good picture, but I think it's a little dim. So I up it a little bit. And then go to color. Up the saturation, make it look just a little bit more pristine. This Jamal Hill photo is kind of shitty. The overall quality of it, it looks like somebody edited it previously. But um, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. And that's way too much texture. And then lastly, Charles Oliveira. And then I'm done. Dude, the way Benil hung his head after that fight, I felt bad for him. Export. Save. Save. X out. X out. Boom. Um, I just got to type a description. Got to type a quick description, put a couple names in here. One thing I've gotten good at with the channel now is learning how to spell names without having to look it up. Boom. 
Now I gotta upload the thumbnail. What the fuck is there? What the fuck did I do? Why did it show that in my... It randomly showed like uh, Jamal... Not the Jamal Hill. It randomly showed like a purple thumbnail for the... It must have been a glitch. I got scared for a second. It showed the Chris Curtis, Brendan Allen thumbnail for the... Uh, It's not updating. All right, I think I got it. I don't know why it showed that. Oh, well. Joey just really, really leaving us the rot. I remember when he almost retired. He did. What's up, chat? What's up, Joey? No way he strikes at Whitaker. Um, bro, deadass almost retired because of COVID. Laugh. I mean, I don't find that shit funny, dude. Some sicknesses can fuck with people, dude. I was fucked up from the flu last week, dude. I think that's might have been the first time I ever had the flu. Depending on if I had it in January or not. There you go. That's pretty fucking sick, bro. Pretty sick. I see the betting slip, dude. I'm glad you got in. Connor has become a completely different person. Has to be a case study one day. Dude, I can't wait for the 30 for 30 one day. Joey should title this live, Bring Your Subs to Work Day, basically. Weidman is let now my least favorite fighter, even over Colby. Dude, Weidman's my least favorite fighter for sure now. 100% my least favorite fighter now. So. Fuck that. Apparently, uh, Ante D'Elia tore his groin in the fight, apparently. So. Yeah. Anyway, boys, any final questions before we drop the newest video? Before we drop the newest video for you boys. I don't know why this keeps saying this. What What is this glitch here? There's like a glitch with the video. I may not even be able to drop it. I keep updating the thumbnail and it's not updating. Alright, looks like it's updated now. Okay. Okay. It looks like it updated now. His day jobs making videos, his night job streaming. <laughs> uh, I'm a Wall Street banker, dude. Don't you, don't you know that? All right, rapid fire questions, boys. Rapid fire questions. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Before I go. Shit on Chris Wyman while you're at it. What are the most what are the were the top five most important videos for your channel? I don't know if there was an important like top five most important, bro. For me, it's just learning different concepts of videos. So the Jamal Hill video where I started using OBS and jumping around, I think was very important because it got me a new genre of video to do that I used to not really like to do. So I think that one is one. I'll say that's one of them. And um, I'll say the first one vid video I ever did. So the one, the one where I reacted to stuff and now I made it a new genre. The first video I've ever did, did, and I don't know, I'll say the Conor McGregor contract video because that picked me up like a thousand subs by itself. The Conor McGregor exposes Dana White's lies during movie media tour. 
I'll just say that one. I'll say the Francis Ngannou humiliated Dana White with post UFC success. I'll say those. Joe, what are the, some of the old forgotten channel jokes? Because there are so many. I have no idea. I couldn't tell you, dude. Danny Hamilton. There's so many of them. So. Snaglord says with his $10 donation, do you really hate Grasso because she's a Mexican? Snaglord, what I told you in private requires a $20 donation to come out in public. What was your was your first video about Diego Sanchez? No, it was not. It was about Leon Edwards versus Nate Diaz. Thank you for the $10. Thank you for the $2. They should let coked up Connor fight Wyman. No, they should let PED'd up Francis and Gondu fight Wyman. Joey hasn't made fun of NASCAR left hands and I I don't I never made fun of Dale Earnhardt. I never made fun of Dale Earnhardt. I'm a fan of Dale Earnhardt, bro. I, I literally have Dale Earnhardt memorabilia. Okay? So, Jackson, don't you ever be throwing that shit out. We joke about NASCAR, but we're fans of Dale Earnhardt here. We're fans of Dale Earnhardt here. How dare you? This dude, this dude sacrificed his life. His life. For the sport of NASCAR. Thank you, Dale. Thank you, Dale. Yeah, the Francis and Ghana videos were amazing. I love the fact that I, I've been calling. The, I don't care if Chandler gets the fight now. I know people are going to be like, Joe, you were wrong, but how long was I right, though? How long was I right? How long was I right? I know people are going to be like, Joe, you were dead wrong about McGregor Chandler, but how long, how long was I right for? You know? The last bit of Dale with his feet kicked back, almost like he knew. I know, dude. I know. There's a clip that I saw from a podcast for Dale Earnhardt Jr. And he's like thanking that there's a guy who like saw his dad right afterwards and never talked about it ever. And there's a podcast that he did and, and, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. thanked him. And there's actually a reel that I saw recently, but I actually saw the, the podcast clip initially on YouTube. And he tells him like, you know, thank you for that, you know. I'm glad that it was you that, that saw him like that. So I thought that was actually pretty, uh, pretty, uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is sad in a way, but he was saying like, I'm so glad that you were the one to see my dad in that moment. Cause this, this, is the guy that he was talking to, he was friends with ran over to the car right after the crash and his dad, you know, was all messed up from the accident. And that guy never spoke of it ever. Never spoke of it ever. So. If you want to call, if that's what you want to call, you sit behind a wheel and drive. It takes a lot of skill and a lot of ain't a sport. Ripdale, hey. Yeah. It's not hold me now. It's called one last breath, Jack. You fucking casual bitch. Jack, you should be ashamed of yourself. I wish your parents were walking by your computer right now and they could tell you what a bitch you are, Jack. Francis videos helping your channel and others are proof Dana is wrong on Francis' popularity. Dude, so many people were wrong on Francis, but everyone's a UFC shill nowadays. And if you have any mild critiques of the UFC, somehow you hate the UFC, even though I've said out loud many of times, I obviously love the UFC and I love watching UFC content and I love watching MMA in general. But, you know, apparently in most brain dead fans' minds, you can't like something. And, uh, you can't, you can't watch something and be a fan of it while having mild critiques of it. Pat, shut the fuck up. You fucking weirdo. What if instead of the BMF title, they had a blindfold match star starring Chris Weidman? I'm not going to lie. Next Chris Weidman fight. I hope nothing bad happens to him because I'm going to, my reaction is going to be viral. I turned against you. Yeah, Snagalore. Nobody likes Pat Matthews anymore. Dude's just a fucking weirdo in chat now. Dude's just a straight up weirdo. Yeah. Yeah, Clay Guida and the boys. All right, you boys ready for a video or what? 
Are you boys ready for a video or what? Let me know. Let me know. Are you guys ready for a bang? It's a heater, man. I recorded it two days ago, but I just haven't had a chance to release it because I haven't done a thumbnail and I had other videos to release. All right, listen, boys. Like the stream. Seems like everyone's itching for this video that I'm going to release at 1230 at night. Like the stream. I would greatly appreciate it. And this is an unlisted video that you boys are about to get straight up access to. Straight up. I want every single one of you, every 160 that's still here, watch it from beginning to end, comment on it, and like it immediately. As soon as I drop the link in the chat, I'm ending the stream so it can boost it in the algorithm, boost it up in the algorithm. So here's the video link. Go watch it, comment on it, like it. Top three reasons I hate UFC 300. Goodbye. Good night. I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy the video. It's unlisted. You guys are the first to see it. Good night.